when your primary objective is uh, to be a conscious human being, to manifest consciousness, to uh, be aligned with the unconditioned consciousness that you are, then no matter what you do, you will have a beneficial effect on the world. The world will become a better place, even through your very presence, even if you were just a hermit, although this is probably not your calling, nor is it mine, even if you were just a hermit and you would uh, sustain this consciousness of your essence identity, as I call it, and you would be aligned with the, the unconditioned consciousness in your contemplative practice, you would make a difference to the totality of human consciousness, which is one single thing, uh, that there is such a thing as the totality of human, the collective human consciousness. Uh, and if you manifest from uh, the aligned, internally aligned state of consciousness, whatever you manifest will have a beneficial effect on the world. Even if it's just a thing like, let's say you want to become a great musician and at first sight you might say, well, what, how does that help people? But it does. Great music that touches people in the innermost of their being has an important effect and makes the world a better place. If you create a through your conscious manifestation a hairdressing salon because you want we want uh, people to have a wonderful experience while they visit your hairdressing salon and you give them your utmost att attention while they're there. You acknowledge them in their being and then they, they not only get their hair done, let's presume that you're a good hairdresser, that's a, a, a given, you have to know, know your craft. <laughs> uh, so I wouldn't recommend that you practice manifesting a fantastic hairdressing salon without having learned the craft of hairdressing so that's obvious uh, hardly need to mention that but once you know th that you are good at what you do then you manifest uh, something that um, goes there in some way has an effect on the consciousness of every human who comes into in touch with whatever it is that you create. So they come to have their hair done, but not only that, you speak to them, you listen to them, you embody the presence, and when they leave, they not only look better, they also feel better within themselves without knowing why. So you, because the consciousness that you and the body spreads out to others. Uh, but all kinds of giving also require wisdom, because you, again, uh, good intention is not enough without wisdom. So, and wisdom implies that again we come to the same place. Wisdom implies that you are in con in a connection with the unconditioned consciousness that is the essence of who you are that lies beyond your thought processes. That's presence. So you need to become present. If you're not present, you have no access to what to, to wisdom. If you don't have access to wisdom in your life, and wisdom is not is not uh, IQ, is not uh, analytical intelligence, nor is is it accumulated knowledge. Wisdom is something that this world knows very little of. Our civilization. But it's uh, in some ancient civilizations was highly regarded. Wisdom is a, a, an intuitive knowing that is much uh, deeper than the uh, the intellect, which moves within the realm of the polarities. So you have a good intention. A good intention does not guarantee a good outcome. A good intention can actually be have have unforeseen consequences that are the opposite of good. So, yes, it's good to have good intentions, 
Uh, of course, you're familiar with the famous saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So have good intentions, but have, have, have wisdom so that when you so that your intent does not produce ultimately the opposite of what was intended uh, again in any course of action that you undertake uh, it is very important the most perhaps the most important ingredient is to have access to the dimension the dimension within yourself where wisdom arises and uh, that is um, an essential part of any successful, let's put like that, um, manifestation practice. Is that you that you have that wisdom, so that you that you you, you not inadvertently create bad when you wanted to create good, which is not uncommon. So you con your consciousness then to be in conscious alignment with the essence of who you are here and now so that you don't operate from ego and are not just operating through the intellect or don't get drawn into one of the polarities of yin or yang. Uh, that is, that requires wisdom and awareness it's awareness is inseparable from wisdom they kind of go together they're virtually a single a single thing it's a subtle they're all very subtle and uh, it's not complicated it might sound a little complex when i talk about it it is not it's not ultimately complex you just have to go deep enough within yourself to realize this and to live it Thank you.